Hello everyone, Jeff here with an example of hedging an equity portfolio or changing the beta of an equity portfolio. In this example, we have a company with a $20 million portfolio with a beta of 1.2. Remember that beta is a measure of how volatile the portfolio is with respect to the market. So the market has a beta of 1, a portfolio with a beta of 1.2 moves 20% more than the market. It would like to use futures contracts on the S&P 500 index to hedge its risk. The index futures price is currently 1950 and each contract is for delivery of 250 times the index. So the S&P 500 index futures is a real thing. You can look up its current price online and uh, it is for delivery of $250 times the value of the index. So in this first question here, what is the value of one S&P 500 index futures contract, which is kind of a mouthful. Um, it is the index value, which is given here is 1950, and each contract is for 250 times that. And 1950 times 250 is $487,500. So that's one S&P 500 index futures contract. The next question here, how many contracts would be needed to hedge a $20 million portfolio with beta one? So if it has beta one, it doesn't, but this, this question is asking, if it had portfolio a beta one, uh, you, it, that means it moves exactly the same as the market. So you, what you're trying to protect against is the value of your portfolio going down. To protect against the value of your portfolio going down, you need something that makes money when the stock market goes down. Short contracts make money when things go down. So the first thing we need to know here is that the answer is going to be that we need some number of contracts short. And if it moved exactly the same as the market, we would just need, uh, tw we're protecting 20 million and each contract is worth 487,500. So we're going to divide and we don't have fractional contracts. So we're going to call this 41. So we're going to be short 41 contracts. What this means is that any amount that your portfolio drops is going to be matched by a profit on your short futures position, exactly matched. So you've hedged this completely if it had beta one. Uh, the trouble is that your portfolio does not have beta one, it has beta 1.2. That just means you need 1.2 times more contracts. So you've, with 41 contracts, protects against a change in a portfolio that moves exactly the same as the market. You need more contracts because your portfolio moves more than the market, so you need more protection. You need 41 times 1.2 contracts. Uh, 49, and again, no partial contracts. We have to do our best and round. So this is going to be 49, and again, it's short. So the main thing here is a the company has a $20 million portfolio with beta 1.2 and it wants to completely hedge the risk there, it will do it by purchasing 49 contracts short. Next we have a different category of question. What if it doesn't want to completely hedge the risk but it wants to uh, hedge some of the risk by reducing the portfolio beta to 0.5, which means it is only half as volatile as the market. And what we do in these circumstances is uh, we look at what we are trying to do to the beta. It's currently 1.2 and we want it to be 0.5. That's a reduction of 0.7. So we want to reduce beta by 0.7. And we're going to do that 
by shorting contracts again because we're trying to reduce the beta. The only difference is instead of reducing the beta by the full 1.2 like we did in question C here, we only want to reduce it by 0.7. So we go back again to our uh, standard beta 1, which is represented by 41 contracts, and we do some multiplication here. If we want to reduce the beta by 0.7, we have to do 0.7 times 41, uh, 28.7, we have to round that to 29. So if we short 29 contracts, we have a partial hedge, Remember the full hedge is 49 short. We, if we want to reduce the beta by 0.7 to get it to 0.5, we will short 29 contracts. Final question here, what if we wanted to increase the beta to 1.5? Here we are, since uh, we want to increase the beta, we want to take on more risk, uh, which means that in this case, we are actually going to want long contracts. So we are trying to increase risk. If the market goes up, we want our portfolio to go up, and we want our futures contracts to go up as well. So we're adding even more, and conversely, if the market goes down, our portfolio goes down, and our futures go down more. So we're adding risk here, uh, long contracts. Here we want to increase the beta to 1.5 from 1.2. That is an increase in the beta by 0.3 and so we need 0.3 times the standard we found here 41 oops 0.3 times 41 12.3 closest we can come is 12 so that means we will do 12 contracts long